What's up, World Renowned family? Welcome to today's Neil at Noon. We're going to talk about belief. And so I want to begin by asking you, what do you believe? Or maybe a better, more powerful question is, what do you really believe? I did a post on social media a couple of days ago earlier this week, and it said, what you do proves what you believe. So let me ask you that question again. What do you believe? Now, if I see you, if your friends follow you, if your employer sits over you and watches as you're working, are what you believe, are they going to see what you believe in action or are your actions and your word belief going to be misaligned? All right. So let me ask you uh, or pose a couple of questions to you. I know that in today's society, we want to say that people over profits, right? Because we don't want to do business with anyone who values profit more than people. Let me ask you on a personal level. Do you believe that people are more valuable than profit? Is honor still important? Right. And you don't have to answer these questions aloud. Uh, you just I, I want you to understand that what you do proves what you believe. So if you believe that honor is important, you're going to honor those people who deserve and those who may not deserve honor in our eyes. Okay. Is your spouse valuable to you? So those of you who know Joanna and uh, myself, you know that on Thursday nights, Thursday evening, it's almost impossible to get onto our calendar. And here's why. Because that's our date night. Tonight is date night. So after we go to a business after hours, it's our quality time. And why do I carve that out? Because I say that she is important to me. I say that marriage is important to me, that our relationship is important. But for me to show it, my actions and my words must align. Uh, there is a saying uh, that let your actions speak so loudly that people can't hear what you say. So that's something that I would challenge you to do today. Um, let your actions be so loud. Let people know where you stand by what you do that they don't even have to have a conversation with you. Do you believe that you're valuable? Do you believe that your body is a temple of your creator? Do you believe that you are created as a masterpiece? If you do, are you treating your body? Can I look? Can look at what you do on a daily basis and say, yep, I know where he stands. I know where she stands on these topics. Do you believe that health is important to you? Are you treating your body, taking care of your body? For instance, I've made a commitment to walk X number of miles every day this year. So for 16 days this year, I've met my goal already every day. But here's is for me to say, and it's not a resolution, but if I say one thing here, but then I perform and I execute at this level, that disconnect, that gap there is going to say, going to let you know, is really going to let me know. And it's going to let everyone else know who's watching me. He doesn't believe what he says. I love how Zig Ziglar would always tell the story when he was getting uh, ready, when he was writing his, one of his books. He was saying, you can be anything you want to be. You can get anything you want to have. You can attain the best you want out of life. But I believe he said that he was about 40 or 60 pounds overweight at the time. And so in his mind, he could just see someone coming up to him saying, hey, Zig, do you believe all that stuff you say? And he says, absolutely. Do you really believe everything you say? And Zig said that in his mind, he would respond, absolutely, I believe it. And at that time, someone would get their finger and they would stick it in his tummy and say, oh, Zig, do you really believe everything you say? And his joke or his spin is, well, you know, we authors, we do take literary license every now and then. So what Zig Ziglar did was in order for him to say, you know what? my actions and my words aligned, he went on an exercise regimen that got him into shape so that he could act so that what he said he believed and what you saw when you looked at him were aligned. So I'm going to ask you, are your actions, are what you're doing proving what you believe? Do you believe that time is more valuable than gold, that time is more valuable than money? If so, are you investing your time or are you spending or wasting it? Are, is your family 
If time really is more valuable than gold, are you investing time with your family? Do you value relationships? Do you value people? Are you building those connections so that those around you can know how you feel about them? And the one of the last things I want to ask you, do you believe that your word is your bond? Do you believe that when you say something or when you make a promise that it's as good as a signature on a contract? Now, I know some of these may be antiquated ideas or principles in many of your eyes, but I know that these are things that I've been raised by, as well as many of my mentors. There are some foundational proofs, proofs some foundational principles or truths that do, so I put principles and truths together and I said proofs, but that is incorrect, and I'm sharing uh, that with you guys. So foundational principles or foundational truths uh, that are in place that never, ever change. So what I challenge you to do today is to actually believe what you believe and let your action speak so loudly that people can't hear what you say. So remember today and tomorrow and the next day after that, that I love you. God loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And until next time, don't be average. Be world-renowned. Peace. Love y'all.